There are a frightening number of liberals who are now celebrating George W. Bush because, well, essentially, Orange Man bad. You see, recently, George Bush announced that he'll be releasing a portrait book honoring immigrants in America, and you see all these neoliberals on Twitter saying, Yay, George Bush is a good person. I miss George Bush. Remember the days of George Bush being in office? Those days were so much better because Trump wasn't in office. Remember the war on terrorism? Remember the Afghanistan and Iraq wars that killed more than 100,000? innocent Middle Eastern civilians. How about you tell them how good of a person George Bush is? Oh wait, you can't because they're kind of sort of dead as a result of his own actions. And, uh, uh, plot twist, we're still fighting in the Middle East. We're sending off 18-year-olds who weren't even fucking alive for 9-11, you know, the event that was kind of sort of the catalyst for these wars, to fight in these wars, kill more innocent civilians, or potentially get themselves killed in the name of the love for their country, quote-unquote. Remember the Patriot Act and that that made it legal for the government to spy on its own civilians, like, you know, listening in on their phone calls unsolicited, which is a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment, but that doesn't matter because it's legal for the government to do that now. That was created under the Bush administration. You know ICE, the Immigration and Customs Enforcement, that is also a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment, as a lot of the removal tactics take away the ability for one to receive a fair hearing in court? That was also created under the, you guessed it, Bush administration. So don't fucking tell me that this person cares about immigrants in America. Please don't, and don't try to convince me that this man is a good man at all, because this man is an evil, vile piece of shit who has the blood of probably millions of people on his hands, and he does not give a fuck at all. So again, please don't lecture me on how George Bush is such a good man because he's not Trump. No, I don't want to fucking hear it. You do not give a fuck about politics. You do not give a fuck about heinous actions like the ones that went down under the Bush administration when it doesn't either directly affect you or those that you are close to. Oh, it's just, it's just people overseas in the Middle East. It doesn't fucking matter because terrorists come from there. You, you don't give a fuck about how any of this affects other people, even in people in other countries, because they don't matter to you, because you don't know them, you'll never know them, so they're nothing to you. They don't matter to you. And that is why you are also a piece of shit for not giving a fuck about any of this, and you only care about the theatrics of politics. How nice a person comes across. Oh, George Bush, he looks like such a nice guy. Trump, he's mean. He says all these mean things on Twitter, so thus he should be removed from the White House. I agree, Trump is a piece of shit, but not for the reasons that you state, it is perfectly fine to hate Trump and still say, yep, George Bush was a horrible, horrible president because they are both evil, vile pieces of shit with no regard for human life whatsoever. Like, in like 10 years, are you going to say Trump was okay when possibly the next Republican president that is public enemy number one goes into the White House? Are you going to say, oh, Trump wasn't that bad because this person is also mean. I don't like this person. Again, politics is just theatrics to you. It only matters how nice the person comes across. The basis of your politics right now is just get Trump out of office and put a Democrat in there. It doesn't matter that the Democratic nominee is a fucking senile racist old man. That doesn't matter at all. It only matters that we beat Trump and put Biden in office. And then we'll see a return to normalcy, like in the Obama days. It doesn't matter that we currently have a pandemic raging through this country. It doesn't matter that we have skyrocketing unemployment. It doesn't matter that more and more people can't afford to pay their own rent, thus mass eviction is going on in this country. No, that will magically go away because Biden will fix all of that when he gets into the White House because Biden is a Democrat and that's all that matters. A Democrat being in the White House. House. Fuck you people. Fuck all of you. You don't actually care about human life. You don't care about any of that. You don't care about how these policies can affect people, how certain policies can affect people in such a huge negative way. It only matters when it directly affects you, and you only care about the aesthetics of these certain politicians, and you do not give a fuck about actual politics whatsoever. ever. I'm sure there are many, 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 many people who are currently living and suffering in these war-torn Middle Eastern countries would love to be in your position right now and say with ease that the man behind all this bloodshed is actually a good person because, well, at least he's not mean. At least he's not like Trump where he's mean on Twitter and says mean things about people on Twitter all day. 
I'm sure they would love to be in your stupid-ass privileged position right now because they are currently suffering thanks to this man that you are currently praising and saying is actually a good man because, again, at least he's not mean. They would love to fucking live in your position right now because they are suffering at the behest of this fucking evil, vile fucking monster. And you might say, eh, you're being hyperbolic right now. This doesn't warrant this kind of reaction. It's just some stupid people on Twitter. Just ignore them. I'm sorry, I care about human life a little too much, I guess, and I hate it when I see people praising someone who is behind the deaths of many, many, many innocent people across the sea because their only crime was unfortunately being born in a part of the world that is at the receiving end of a supposed war on terrorism. So yeah, I hate George Bush with a burning passion and just because I hate Trump too does not, absolutely does not give this motherfucker a pass for his war crimes. Oh, and fuck Obama too while we're at it with his drone strike happy ass. And all in all, fuck liberals because they're a participant in being cogs in this broken ass machine that we live in and only care about the aesthetics of politics and only care about how nice a politician is and nothing fucking more. So yeah, this video should definitely put to bed the dumbass notion that I'm only biased towards anything that is even remotely to the left. <sighs> Whatever, people will continue to believe their stupid fucking... Uh, let's not give them the time of day. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye. Let's end this video with my favorite video of George Bush, shall we?